video review. Hello again. Um, we're back with another episode on getting this guy on editing Vegas Pro. So, um, if you haven't watched the first episode, then you, I recommend you have to watch that first because this will be continuing from the last one. So, because I'm not gonna go through the exact things that we were going in the last episode. So yeah, be sure to watch that one first before watching this. So as we all know, so we're gonna begin very simple as always. We're just gonna drag a random clip that we want. So press yes, and as I told you in the last episode, use the setting here and put the resample mode on disable. Apply it. Um, I want you. I want to go through a little more in detail in this video, and I think this will help out with the editing that you actually want to do. So, as in the last episode, I told you. It's better off to just give um to just make a new video track and audio track just one niche um before you do anything else. So this time we're gonna do some adding background music, uh, adding sound effects and all that. So what you wanna do is basic um just like putting up the video into the timeline. You just drag the music that you want into the new audio track that you made. If you don't have the audio track in the beginning, you can actually just drag it here into the new blank space down here and it will create a new audio track by itself. So it's very convenient. I think it's a very, very useful thing. Um, if you don't want to just right click and create a new audio track. But uh, as I told you, just be just create one each for when you begin. Today we're just gonna let you show you just a little bit. When you start up the video, you see all these very, very chill sort of beginning to the video <laughs> like um you know everything just kind of slowly started <laughs> like that so what you want to do here is very very simple um all you have to do is just at the corner of the video here um basically just drag that in and it will just <laughs> it will already start fading i'm just gonna close the audio there and see slowly fade in the, the, the further you pull it to, it, the, the slower the fade will be. So, yeah. Um, if you want to fade in every single clip, all these little things here, at the same time, then you can use the control, hold control, and select all these clips here, and drag it. It will drag the whole entire thing, the, every single clip you selected. Or, as I told you in the last episode, use this selection tool select everything and yeah and that's very few that's a lot fewer clicks you need to you know press there are a couple of um options on fading uh, if you right click at the where you where you put the fade there, there there will be options on how you want to fade it if if you put it like this then it will fade in a lot quicker if you look, put it like this it will fade in a lot slower uh, you can just look at the graph i think you guys can tell the next thing that i like to show is basically opacity and the volume of the whole music so all you have to do if you want to lower the opacity of the clip so that you can show something under the clip let me just show you if you want if you have a text under the video if you if you put it like this you can't see the text it's basically hidden under the video track so if you lower the opacity by just this, this line here of the clip you see opacity is at 100% if you drag it down to how, how many how much percent you ever want and you will see the sample text there because lower of opacity you can see what's under there now same with text same with text if you lower the opacity of the text on top of the video track then you can kind of see through the text into the video which is uh, one of the effects that I like on videos uh, if you have uh, a white text you just kind of have like a little somewhat like 80% opacity you kind of kind of see what's in the back a little bit for music the same thing for the audio, the exact same thing. Um, you lower the the volume by just dragging up and down like that, just like the video. Fading out is also the same story. So you, you basically just hold a corner, but this time you go backwards like that. Yeah, very simple. The other thing I like to show you is um, if you're having a bit problem when you render the video, 
it does not look the same as you look in the preview here. It, you, you kind of feel like the video is a little darker than, than it's supposed to be. So what I like to tell you here is there is a trick to it. Um, which I want to just copy the exact same thing that I have to just so go into the video effect right here in the tab you see the video effects go to levels first of all you're just gonna drag in default but I've already got my presets here so just drag it down to the whole entire video track right here so it would change every every single levels of the video in this entire video track so I just drag it there and I want you to just pretty much copy the exact same thing I have here. This will actually um, change the levels of the video to match with what the render will look like. So the render of the rendering of the video, the video will look more like what you see in the preview. If you don't have this level set up like this, when you render the video, the video is kind of look a bit darker, which um kind of annoys people sometimes if you're playing like a, a very dark game so you can't really see much of what's going on but on the, the actual players they can actually just see fine so copy the setting I have here now on to adding text so another simple stuff um, I'd like to teach everyone of course either right click it and insert text media easy stuff be a different kind of a uh, text than what I usually use. This is one type, the basic ty type of it, and you pretty much just mess around with all these. I'm gonna go through these in an not this video. And you have another one, which I use all the time, in media generators here. Click on it, and you go down to legacy text, and I basically use the default one. So both work just fine, all right? But it depends on what which one you like. The outlines will be a bit different, this kind uh, for legacy text, the outline will be kind of shadowy, kind of like uh, a sort of effect on it. But on um, the simple original one that you have here, the outline will just basically be a hundred percent no no feather around the outline at all. It just looks solid. So that's two things that you can use. Another thing is I'm gonna get this quite simply done. We're gonna do some green screen cutting. So we're just gonna drag in the green screen clip that you want. Basically, you want the green screen to just get go out of the way, you know? You you want to see Mr. Crash Bandicoot here, basically on top of the clip without the green screen. Um right now we just block everything. So what you wanna do is go to video effects. This time we're gonna use the effect called Chroma Key. So it's called Chroma Key because it can key the, the color that you want. Just look at the background. Um, it's a clear green background, so I guess it would be super easy to edit out. So we're gonna create, we're gonna key the green screen now. So we're gonna just drag that onto the clip. Boom! Already it looks very nice. <laughs> looks very, very smooth already. You can see. Um, but you can kind of see if I. Drag the video out like that. You can actually see the outline. You can actually see the black outline of the actual video. And you can still see kind of a bit of a green around Mr. Crash Bandicoot here. You don't want that. When you're on here, when you drag the clip in, you basically just want to you just want to kind of figure out around the lower and higher threshold of the, the green screen. So if I lower it, you can see the outline is already gone. Look at that. It's already gone, but you can see here that the, the Crash Bandicoot is kind of like fading out. You can see his outline is kind of fading him out. So you lower the higher threshold, and now you can see him even clearer. But if you lower it so much, you can actually see a very clear solid green around him. So you don't want to lower it too much, you just want to have it so it looks just alright. Now Mr. Crash Bandicoot is very clean and basically blur him out, you don't really want to mess around with it and yep, there you go, you got the screen screen. So simple stuff, that's all I want to teach you guys today, very very simple. Um, the things I taught you today are things that probably many YouTubers want to learn on how to use, so yeah, that's basically all. <laughs> 
thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, and we're gonna go through an even more detailed sort of guide for you. I'll see you then. Thank you.